everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Polynerdic Plays. I've got about 90 minutes to kill tonight, so I decided, since it's almost Halloween, we're less than a week away from Halloween, that it would be a good idea to stream something a little scary. Normally, I devote the entire month of October to scary stuff. This year, though, I decided to uh, forego that and just do my normal streaming pattern of, you know, streaming whatever I'm playing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if I'm able. This is Wednesday, the 25th, I believe, is what we're on. Yes, we're on the 25th, so we are six days away from Halloween. As I said, I've got 90 minutes to stream uh, before I've got to take a nap before work. So let's jump into this, uh, what many consider classic modern horror game, Amnesia the Dark Descent. This is one of those games where you cannot, if you're unfamiliar, is one of those games where you cannot fight the monsters that approach you. You have to hide from them or they will kill you. Uh, there's also some insanity stuff going on where you have to keep your sanity up. Things of that nature. Uh, it's an older game. I played about five minutes of it prior to this to try to get a feel for it. Uh, it has some issues being an older game. Uh, specifically, I don't care for the way there's like motion blur. And I haven't seen an option to shut that down. That just seems to be a part of the game. So we got to deal with it. So uh, let's just jump in. I, I know what I know at this point is is you play a guy named Daniel who seems to have amnesia, hence the title of the game. I briefly toyed around with the idea of re-uploading the. Uh, Reinstalling the Outlast series to play it today, uh, but since Don't I have forget, this one, some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is. I am Daniel. All right. As you can tell, it's a couple years old. It's definitely got the look of a game that's been out for a little while. It's not to say it's a bad looking game, but there, there are some issues here. But I hear that I hear great things about this game. I hear it's a classic, so. Windows. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Diaries. No notes. Okay. That's obviously the liquid trail I think I'm supposed to follow. See what I mean by the, the motion blur? I find that kind of irritating. What do we got here? Got a cup. Oh, a candle. Can I take it? Can't take the candle. Didn't pick up a tender box though. It's not throwing it shut. Okay, so that's let's let's try this again here. Hold on. Let's close the door. Yeah, I can throw it open. Okay. My cave in, can't go that way. But yeah, I've, I've always heard really good things about this game. And I've always been interested in it, but never interested enough to actually buy it. But now that it was a freebie this month on PlayStation Plus, and it's October, I figured why not? Why not give it a shot? As I said, we're going to play till about 7 o'clock, so we've got a little over an hour and 20 minutes to go. See, this, this is the thing that threw me off when I tried it out, is those weird segments there. It's like, I understand it's supposed to be him kind of losing it a little bit, but I don't like the way the perspective shifts so like he is damn near on his knees. What was that? Okay, 
Okay, apparently I don't have the ability to run just yet, even though I'm hitting the run button. That must come later. Oh, Thunderbox. Okay, so this is how you hide. Close that. You're just finding all kinds of Tinderboxes. We rotate it and I drop it. I wonder if there's some sort of uh, distraction based thing. Like if I throw an item that breaks and it distracts the monster, I can run the other way, I guess, maybe. Scary broom. Okay, so that's what that is. Can light candles. Keep the darkness away. Okay, those were footsteps. freaking out about a candle, I don't... Like it says when you witness spooky events, your sanity trips out, but I don't understand what was trippy about that wall. Like the way it made me look at the wall. Mm, Self-opening doors, never good. My memories of Uncharted 4, this is St. Dismas right here, the penitent thief. This is the one that was unrepentant, if I'm, if I'm correct. Unless they're doing it backwards. Okay. So the whole point of this room was to get me to come in here and experience darkness. I get it. And burn a tinder... Tinder box. slow build here. Creepy environment. See, that's something else moving around. Say Veggie Tales? Can I burn the book? Hmm. Not that detail. <clears throat> Not that detail, huh? Put you on fire right there. Let's say. I gotta 
Gotta fool around a little bit here. Hold on. Put you up there too. Can we stack the books? Are we gonna be able to? Ah. Try this again. Let's lay it flat. As flat as we can here. There we are. Nope, it doesn't want to stay up there. Seems like we picked up sheets of paper. No. Bugs. Back on the light. I wish there was a visual sanity meter. That, that would be a nice touch. I, think I found everything that was in here, don't I? This is about as far as I've played right here, this room. I'll say the game bugged out before. Cause I don't recall the oh, ten minutes, here we go. Ten box. I'll say the game bugged out before when I went and entered this room, that lantern wasn't there. in London? Or I'm even in London anymore, I don't know. I could be completely not there. I don't like this opening closing mechanic. so much in the environment that I can't interact with. I can pick up this roll of carpet, the rug, but I can't interact with this book. Hold on, what do I got? Okay, I don't have to physically move to open doors. Nineteenth of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. 
I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. So that's the plot of the game right there. Okay, the hint can go away now. That's my oil level. Health is good. I have a slight headache. game. What do you want from me? Looking subject, sub substance. Speak English. Oh, lever, there we are. right there. I have a feeling I'm going to need to run soon. <laughs> Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? 
The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. That'd be fucked up if it did that and then come out of that into a monster standing right here. That seems like the dick move this kind of game would make. What the hell just happened? Gross. Well, tinderbox. Fantastic. cave-ins in this, uh, castle. Archives. It's, uh, the voices. A little probably end badly for me. That's what my gut says. Where's this? Old archives. That's where I came from. That's not how spider webs work. Trust me, I walk through a lot of them at work at night. Okay, so this is like a hub area, I guess. Locked. Laboratory goods, yeah. So it's like a Sign. 
should be more Cooperites. Let me see, let me see. And one part Aqua Force. Something in the water, that's gonna be fine. How's my sanity? Slight headache, okay. That's not what I was wanting to do. is a fragile dude if you just stand in the dark for a minute and it gives him a headache. Explain that. I mean, I feel that with my children, but that's about it. I'm not really close with my extended family. Or my immediate family, for that matter. I haven't seen my brother in a while, or my parents. Yuck. It's like flesh. More chemicals, more acid. I need key to the wine cellar. It's not a bad looking game. I really don't like the, the, the motion blur though. Say that's rare books. Ah, yep, I knew it. Thank you. 
Really, this room is too dark? Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. All right. worth checking. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. You're running a theme. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. Oh no. I was trapped. I wonder if he got out. <laughs> stuff. Big part of Gone Home. What did I do? Oh no. 
It's awfully fragile. There's the piano that was just playing. It's on this side. Let's explore over here first. found anywhere in this area to hide though. There's nowhere to like get inside anything. me towards where I don't want to go, huh? Let's sneak. They were talking about this on a recent episode of the uh, Giant Beast cast, about how when you're playing a horror game, the difference between a horror game and a horror movie is that in a horror movie, you're passively watching it. Like, you don't have to do anything, you, you know, you don't have to agree with the decisions the characters are making. You just... Yeah, they push forward, they explore the crazy noise, they go in the basement, they, they do all that stuff. Whereas in a horror game, it, you're the one that has to motivate the plot. Like, you've got to be constantly pushing forward. Um, Resident Evil 7, I had that moment too, where at the very beginning of the game. I was like, I don't want to go in the house. What if I just stop right here? Game's over. Thanks for watching. You know, that kind of thing. How do I lean? I saw there was a lean option in the controls here. Lean. I really don't like the darkness sandy thing. That that's a part of the game I don't care for. Can't fix that chair. Oh, 
Oh shit, I'm blocked in. Nice game, good job. You, I bet it's his fault. I can't even kill the bugs. Especially downstairs. Seems to be what's happening. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Somebody was just playing the piano a second ago because that lid was down. I'm almost 100% positive. I'm constantly hearing foot footsteps. I must there must be a need for a lot of candle lighting in this game. giving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. I suppose I should be playing, huh? It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic Yeah, I light. can't look away. It keeps pulling me back. Ah, that's bright. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I, I, can I had difficulty with that class too. Is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic.
I did not expect that to actually work, but all right. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. That book looks different. I heard a thing.
Okay. Hey, all right. Cool. That was an unpleasant noise. does a good job of building atmosphere. like an unnecessary step. I already have the key. Just let me open the door.
with a barrel it looked like. I think I'm gonna stop right here before we get too much deeper into this because it's a little past 630 I know when I started this I said I was gonna play 90 minutes but I think going just over an hour is good enough uh, I have some other stuff I need to take care of that you know, just occurred to me before I take a nap um, we'll definitely be back with more of this sometime soon probably post Halloween to be honest because Wolfenstein 2 the new Colossus Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus comes out Friday. Um, I'm going to pick it up. Probably stream that this weekend. So that, that'll take up most of my streaming. But I definitely am interested in this game and where it goes. It's done a good job, <coughs> excuse me, so far building atmosphere. I really like that at this point we haven't encountered anything. We've just heard stuff. There's been creepy noises, footsteps, moaning, groaning, roars. Um, Love how that's playing out. Can't wait to see more of it, though. And, uh, like, thank you for watching. Can I pick this up? Oh, it's too heavy. Okay, so I can't push stuff. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, that's gonna do it for today's Planar Plays of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Um, interesting game. I look forward to being scared shitless in the future by it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.